Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about a few products that have been sitting in my stash and they have just been collecting dust, y'all. Um, a few of these products I've tried multiple times and I just can't get it right with them. My hair is just not feeling them. Some, I they used to work really, really well and now they just don't work at all for my hair. And some were just like a one and done. Like I tried them once and I just didn't like them enough to try them again. <laughs> So like I said, they've just been sitting under my sink collecting dust. I don't go to, these aren't go-to products when I want to do my hair. Um, some of them I've been using on my weave and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I just want to go through those products with you guys. So the first product is the Shea Moisture Omega 369 Rescue and Repair Curl Defining Smoothie. I ran out and got this product after I tried the Shea Moisture Frizz Taming Smoothie and I really really loved it so I was like let me go try this new one and see how it works. Hopefully it works the same and it was just okay. Really really just okay. I think I may have done maybe about two or three wash and goes with it and that was really it. It just was very very like mediocre um as far as the consistency it's a lot similar to the frizz taming smoothie but as far as like moisture and shine and just like being a good product just wasn't impressed so the next two products i did do a video on and i said that it was a fail for me and that is the diva curl products first i have the diva curl super cream and secondly i have the diva curl arc angel gel you guys saw in the video I tried to do these products and before that video I had tried them twice before and none of the times worked and in that video it didn't work for me either either I know a lot of guys a lot of you guys in the comments said for me to try it on like super duper soaking wet hair like still in the shower hair which I did and I honestly I mean it was a little bit better but it wasn't it's still like it's just a no for me like no matter how many times I've tried no matter no matter how many different methods I've tried these products are just uh to me I I would definitely not repurchase and they cost way too much the super cream it says it's supposed to smooth soften shape stretch moisturize define curl boost volume and tame frizz and give shine where 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 because it sure don't do that on my head. And then this Archangel Gel, I'm confused because it says maximum hold. This is just not it. It's drying. I don't know. I just, I'm not here for Diva Curl. You know, they had their one chance with me. And I, like I said, I've tried them multiple on multiple occasions, different methods and all of that. And it's just still a no. So the next product might be a little bit surprising. <laughs> but it is the Eco Style Coconut Gel. Now I was super super du super duper hyped to um, find this gel and to use it. And initially, if you haven't, if you guys haven't already, I do have a review and demo of this gel. And it was just an okay gel. Um, it didn't stand out to me at all. I felt like it didn't give me as much shine as some of the other ones did, and it was just lackluster at best. I don't know. Like I definitely don't think I will repurchase it again. Um, because the the castor oil and flaxseed one just beat out all of them all together for me and if that wasn't if that one wasn't available I would probably go for the olive oil one which was my original staple so the next product is an edge control and that is the Higgs transformation edges I've tried I've tried I've tried this product so many times and it just keeps failing me I don't even know like why I keep trying it like that's the definition of insanity trying something over and over thinking or expecting different results because I never got different results ever it is just like it's really nice to slick down your edges for all of at least my edges for all of maybe two minutes <laughs> like laughing but really really seriously um so it's just a no it, it doesn't do anything for my edges honestly the only thing that really really works for me has been eco style gel i haven't tried any other edge control since i purchased this just because I feel like it's a waste. I mean, but there very well might be some really, really good edge controls out there. So if you guys know of any, feel free to drop some below. But this Hicks, and if, and I think I paid like $13, $14. It's enough. So the next product is the Talia Wajid Shea Coco Curl Souffle. So I won't necessarily say that this product doesn't work well or whatever. It's just I don't really 
see the need for it in my collection. And I did try this product one time. I did a twist out on wet hair and it felt heavy on my hair. I feel like it weighed it down a little bit. It's a weird consistency. Um, it's not something that I would use when I'm styling my hair. I have twisting butters. I have um, curl defining creams. I have gels. And so it's curl souffle just doesn't fit in the mix for me. And the last three products I have are from Design Essentials. When I went and got my Diva Cut, my last Diva Cut, which was I think February of this year or March, I'm not really sure. Um, the stylist had recommended that I use Design Essentials. So thankfully Sally had Sally Beauty Supply had them buy two get one free at the time. So I went and got three products. The first product I got was the Design Essentials Natural um, Daily Moisturizing Lotion. And this product she told me to use as a leave-in, which I did, and it was just, eh, like, it's nothing that I, I, like, instantly, oh, I gotta go grab this and use this for my leave-in. Like, it's, I don't think I've grabbed it since, like, March of this year. Um, actually, I did a lot. I used it when I was styling my curly hair clip-ins in my video, so if you haven't seen that, go and check it out. Um, because I just don't, I don't really like it for my hair. It didn't really do much for me to get a lot of moisture from my leave-ins because that is like my base before I apply like, you know, styling creams and gels and stuff like that. And I also have to like to have a little bit of slip when I am applying my leave-in and I just didn't feel like this product was like all of that. Along with the daily moisturizing leave-in, I use the um, Design Essentials Natural Defining Cream Gel. Now I will say what I really did like about this product was that I was able to get wash and go results without using a gel, um, which I thought was like, you know, uh, not possible with my hair type. And I really liked the fact because it's a thick cream kind of consistency, it's not jelly at all. The smell isn't the best, um, but... I just, I don't know. I feel like I got pretty decent definition. I did get a lot of volume on day one, but it was, uh, uh. like, I don't really have much else to say. Like, I just didn't feel like it was, like, banging like that. Like, I have to go buy this every single time I hair shop for hair products. This isn't something I use for every single wash and go. Honestly, I have not used it since like March. And the next Design Essentials product I have is the Curl Stretching Cream. And this one, I didn't, I, I only really wanted those two products that I already mentioned, but I just grabbed this one because like I said, it was buy two, get one free. And I figured I could use it for like twist outs or something like that. But the smells is just like that, um, the other, actually it might be a little bit worse than the curl defining cream. It's like a thick pudding type product. And I used it like one time for a twist out on wet hair. And it was once again, just okay. I feel like the definition was pretty decent, but as far as like moisture and shine, I just didn't have that with this product. And um, I guess that's what this line in general, or these few products that I've tried from this line in general is lacking for me. And that's moisture and shine. I'm really big. I want my hair to feel soft. I want to not have to apply, you know, more stuff to my hair throughout the weeks. So I kind of just like do a one and done type of thing with my hair. And with these products, I was lacking that moisture. So I had to, you know, re-wet my hair or restyle it um, a few days later. And I don't like to have to do that. I'm a lazy natural, y'all. So I want, you know, something that is going to get me right the first time and last me at least, like, you know, four or five days. I used it literally that one time and I have not went and picked it up yet. I mean, since then. And this product, I definitely don't see myself ever trying again. So if you guys have any of those products that I have mentioned and they work wonders for you, definitely feel free to comment below. Let me know how you use them. What's your method? Or what else you use them with to get the best results because you know I don't want the products to go to waste I love to try them out and have them work well for me I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know some products below that you used to love and now you just it is just not working for you or products that were one and done for you and all that good stuff I love to hear you guys feedback on that and thank you all for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye guys